Good day, everybody. I'm gonna do a go ahead and do, decide to do a quick video on growing uh, your uh, bell peppers. I have spoke with people about growing bell peppers, and the biggest thing I get is that the you know the bell pepper plant it really doesn't ever get mature and put any big bell peppers out like the, you see the ones in the store. Um, the reason for that is you gotta focus on getting that plant to get big and healthy first and full of foliage. I, I can't stress that enough. Uh, and the way you do that is you want to if you don't have a lot of organic matter in your soil I did do a garden amendment here, and I do have some comp added compost to my soil um, So if you have it don't don't really put a lot of like natural uh, Minerals in your soil and organic matter like cow manure compost um, Chicken manure is good something is going to increase the nitrates in that soil and uh then you know it's going to be hard to get it to really grow and get very green and healthy um and so that's the first step in you know, that you want to do in uh getting a big bell pepper plant that's going to be able to put and support some big nice bell pepper so uh the first thing you want to do is not let it do this you see how it's already putting that bell pepper out and that plant is not even a foot tall maybe eight inches tall so we're gonna go ahead and pull that off of here and I can you can use that bell pepper um, is we got a few other little small ones on here that we're gonna take off so you want to and, and if you see any blooms coming on the plant then you want to go ahead and pull those blooms off you want to again focus on plant structure and plant development um, so the way to do that again is if you don't have any uh, you know organic natural ways to uh, boost your soil up then you can use a uh, fertilizer once they get about a foot tall you don't need to do any fertilizing until they get about that that tall so let's pull this little small bell pepper off here once they get about a foot tall after you plant out set, set out your little plant you know you you know you start putting a new growth out then you know that root system is is advancing and it's getting the stack was on give make sure they get a lot of moisture if they don't if don't if it doesn't rain come out and just put a little water on them make sure the, the soil stays moist after they get about you know i say two feet tall these right here are getting close i need to take these peppers off they kind of snuck up on me but once they get this tall then you want to Another thing you want to do is keep your dirt ch chopped up around your plant. So that's what we're going to do here today, right prior to the rainfall. Then you want to do two treatments of a balanced fertilizer, like a triple 10 or triple 13, uh, about 12 to 15 days apart. And then you should have a real big, healthy, pretty uh, bell pepper plant that is about two and a half feet tall. And then, then you want to let it start focusing on blooming and forming your bell pepper. So, uh, it is vital with your peppers you know the first like i said focus on getting that plant structure healthy with a lot of healthy foliage on it then let, let it start blooming you'll see where you'll get some really nice pretty bell peppers so we're gonna um do that with these these right here a little bit uh small and we're gonna get these bumped up around our bell peppers one more time just soften the dirt up a little bit prior to our rainfall that hopefully we're finna, we're, we're finna get here side dress them with a little triple 13 it'll give them a little bit of boost uh it has a look just has a you know it's just a general fertilizer it has a little bit of everything in it uh you know nitrogen phosphorus and potassium so uh we're just gonna side dress it a little bit so hopefully we should get a big boost you know in growth Over the next couple of weeks and uh, uh one thing you saw i had cages around them to start with eventually you will need to cage your bell pepper plants um when they get start getting bell pepper on them it will cause the plant to be a little heavy and if you have a like a windy day or something it can cause that bell pepper plant to snap because those plants are very easy to snap and then um you know you'll lose you don't want to lose that plant structure so and even before they start putting out bell peppers and the plants start getting big, it's good to just support them a little bit. Cause like I said, they can be easy to snap or break off when the, on a windy day. So, um, so I'm gonna put my cages back around them. Uh, I, I did a little prematurely probably, but it is important to um, stake them up like you do tomatoes or have some kind of a cage, some kind of support system around them. 
So we're gonna watch these bell peppers and we'll be back. Okay, y'all, so we're back, it's June the 9th. And as you can see, the bell peppers are about two and a half feet tall. This one right here is about three feet tall. But, you know, once they get about, you know, two feet tall, then that's when you wanna start letting them uh, put out the bell peppers. So, as you can see, this one right here, <clears throat> once we let it get mature, it has put out some large bell peppers, same quality you get in the store. Uh, just beautiful bell peppers. Here's some other ones on this one. Just beautiful quality. And they're gonna get even better quality. Once, once we pull these off and it's part, put the second round of blooms out, you know, it's gonna put out even nicer bell peppers. So uh, these right here are a different variety of pepper. But it's the same concept. This is a giant uh, Marconi. And uh, it puts out a large pepper as well. They'll, I like to let them sit on there and get a little red to them, red color to them. But they're very, very good pepper. But it's the same concept. You want to let the, let the plant get mature. Uh, let it get about at least two feet tall before you start letting them the blooms come on them and let them start putting out peppers. Uh, this one here has some nice ones on it too. But uh, when you harvest a bell pepper, the, the way you want to harvest them, you want to just kind of, you don't want to pull down on them, you just want to pull up and you hear them release away. And then you can give it a little twist, it should come right off. Because you can see where that stem, you know, kind of point comes in. so. You want to just pull up on it the opposite way of that stem because if you pull down on it it won't come loose and sometimes you'll damage the plant but um anyway it's a beautiful bell pepper now as an example these right here are in the process of getting big so we're gonna co go through here and pull all the small bell peppers off that are forming on there so this is a good example of how what not to do you know you want to i planted these a little later so they're a little bit further behind those but uh we're gonna pull all these little small bell peppers off and we're gonna pull all these blooms off. And they're about a foot tall now. So again, we're gonna let them get about another foot of growth to them. Same as that one. And then once they get a foot of growth to them, then we're gonna let them focus on blooming and forming bell peppers. So that is it. Uh, didn't, ha didn't have to do any more fertilizing to these. Don't plan on it. Maybe later in the season, I may put a little liquid, liquid fertilizer, liquid miracle Grow fertilizer on them if they ever need any watering and that should be it so we're gonna harvest the rest of these bell peppers and i hope this uh video helps you and if you want to grow some bell peppers or other kind of peppers large peppers on what to do and i uh, hope you're successful please like the video and please subscribe to the channel thanks for watching